Hi, my name's Romy. I've persuaded Casta to stay in the living room where she will be warm and comfortable and probably miss me, but she'll be warm and comfortable. And you may remember a time around a year ago where I created something I'm incredibly proud of and something I love dearly. It was this, the Victorian, Victorian photograph album and Although I did not create the album itself, I filled it with pictures of my darling, my baby, my caster. And this might show you to some extent my love of photographs and the memories they capture. I love artwork, I love photographs, I love photo albums, and I love thrifting, and I love caster more than all of those things. And I also happen to have a few prints, um, cards, actual... I can hear her. You're gonna be cold! Hello, did you hear me talking about you? So I currently have an array of things, actual purchased prints and artwork and cards that I want to frame. And recently I have acquired quite the nice collection of secondhand frames. I was looking at buying kind of cheap ones and I might still do that, but I love thrifting. I love op shopping. And I kept my eyes out and I found quite a few over the last two days. One I got a few weeks ago, and then the day before yesterday I got two or three, and then yesterday I got three. So I'm doing okay. And I thought it would be fun to do whatever I need to do to the frame. Some of them I want to sand, some of them I want to fill, and to fill them and just see, see the experience of filling them them up, sharing my love of Castor, because I have also this, also this wall that I look at when I film is um, a photo collage wall. So this wall is my artwork wall in my bedroom, and then that wall where I used to have my bed is my photo wall, and oh, I love it. And that has a lot of pictures of Castor, of Hugo, the rabbit I used to own, of Momo, and then like family and things. It's really sweet. I like that wall. So today I'm going to be working with four frames. I have this one which is kind of like a plasticated look wood. I don't know what's actually under that but I think I'll see what it looks like just like this or I might lightly sand it and see how that looks because I'm not a huge fan of the frame itself but I really like the style of the frame. And this one cost me about a dollar. Um, most of these frames were part of a half price sale my whole op shop was having so I got a lot of fantastic things which I will be showing in a future video and this was one of them so this cost a dollar. And then I got this one. This is just a simple black frame. I don't know if I'll use the... we'll call it a plaque. I don't know what it's called. Um, I don't know if I'm going to use that. I think this was like a dollar as well maybe. Maybe a dollar fifty. I think this one was three. I'm not sure. We have this one. This is a little um, ceramic frame that's so tiny and cute, and I knew it would be so tiny and cute and perfect with a little picture of Castor in it. So this one I got for I think a dollar or a dollar fifty. And then the last one I'm going to use is this. This cost me a dollar fifty. No, this cost me a dollar I think. And it is this amazingly kitschy kind of triangle frame and it's just it's so much and I also love it um and this I think is actually handmade I don't know how it possibly could be but it's got a name and a date um 1990 scrolled in to the back and yeah I, I, I can't wait to see what goes in this going to bring you down to this little tray down here which is going to be my framing station and we'll get going. I'm going to start with this and I'm going to have to hand film all of this because I cannot 
for trying find a good spot to put my camera that will actually show this not upside down. So this is a super cute kind of buttery yellow frame. The color's not really showing, but I'm gonna have a cute picture of Casta. So I'm just gonna find one. Okay, so that was significantly harder than I thought it would be. Turns out I didn't have a picture that was the right size on my wall. So I had to go through Casta's albums. I considered using this picture of Hugo, my rabbit, when he was a bunny, but it was too big and that would be so cute framed, but looks cuter uncropped. And there is this picture of Casta, one of my personal favorites of her flying through the air with her toy in her mouth and dressed as a frog. And then there are these two. These two were taken the day after Casta arrived. So we went and got her and then this was the morning after and she was just the cutest little baby ever. So they would need some cropping, I think, but yeah, I'm not sure which one's gonna look best. Let's have a look. Okay, so I've narrowed it down to two. We have this charmer. Oh my gosh, one of my favorite photos of Casta ever. And then we have this one. And I think I'm gonna go with the green one, just I think it would fit my room more, but oh my gosh, such a cute puppy. Were you a cute puppy cast? Were you a good girl? You were the most adorable blue stabby puppy I've ever seen. Need to cut some off the sides. Oh, that's too close. Edited. And cut some more off the top. And some off the bottom. And, oh no! I've done it too small and the cut shows. Oh dear. If I squidge it over, it should be okay. How cute is that? Beautiful. Oh no. I did it upside down. Right. Okay, this is going to be my second frame. Just a nice big frame. Pretty good. We'll see what I need to frame. So I have this beautiful print which I've showed before from Lovely Bones on Etsy. I will be strong in moments I feel like breaking. I'll be brave in moments I feel like running. Right off the bat that just fits for me. It looks so nice. I don't really like this white board because it's kind of crisscrossed almost but maybe I can flip it. Maybe I won't really notice but that just looks so beautiful. I'm not even looking at the other ones. Yes I will. I'll look at the other ones but. Then there is this option. This is a beautiful Ghibli slash ditto postcard from Magical Maidens that I got for free with my order. I love it, but it doesn't look, it doesn't look to its best in this. I don't think. A happy cat? No. A happy moment? Nope. A happy little Mai? Nope. A happy cat? That looks pretty nice, but... We're going with that one. And she's done. For one that I was so certain right off the bat was perfect, that was a struggle. <laughs> I had to redo that about five times. Next up, we have this one. I do not have something big enough for this, apparently. Would it look good with the... That's the wrong one. Nope. I feel like this could look quite cute with like a nice happy background. Not sure, let's try. So I have some tissue paper. This is actually for my jewelry wrapping, but hey, I have this beautiful iridescent rainbow confetti. Some pink love hearts, they're actually red. They were pink, I didn't get them. And some blue love hearts. I'm gonna have a play around with these and see how I go. I think we found our winner. I really loved the blue. I really love the confetti. But the blue felt a little bit sad to me as much as I love that tissue paper. So I think we're going to go with happy, happy red hearts. We're not. We're going with blue. <laughs> Ta-da! There is the possibility that this will move because it really needs a really thick piece of cardboard right behind it to smush it up. But then that will make this go really crinkly looking so I hope that will just kind of smooth out with time and that these won't fall but I think that's pretty cute. I'm not 100% set on it. Maybe there needs to be something here but that's pretty cute. And 
last frame. Now, I don't know how you would use this as a frame. Um, I just don't know how that would work feasibly. Realistically, how? I don't understand. Okay, that was a potential idea that had been suggested to me. I'm not keen on that. Yeah, I'm not so sure of this frame. <laughs> I was so sure of it. I'm going to set that frame aside and have a think about it. My floor is now littered with tissue paper, photos and beautiful frames. So I'm so happy with what I ended up with. Uh, my favourite, I mean my favourite has to be the one of Castor, but I am so pleased with how the note card worked up. I'm not 100% sure of the Moomin one. I just am not sure if it's entirely me, but it was fun trying. This little one of Castor though. So cute. I've got so many pictures of Castor. Castor is with me every single day. And yet, and yet. I don't know where it's gonna go, but it looks cute because Castor looks cute everywhere. So I hope that you had fun <laughs> as I struggled to get these pictures into place. I do not tend to have an awful lot of patience when it comes to placing pictures because they always go wonky and I always have to do it about 10 times, but it's also quite therapeutic, so I enjoy that part of it. I've now convinced Cass to go back in front of the fire so she'll be nice and warm and comfortable and hopefully not too anxious about being in a different room. And that is all from me.